Havla. Before I met you many years ago, I would pray every night for my future wife. I would ask God to protect and prepare a spouse for me that would share the same love for a savior as I do. Little did I know that several years later, God would answer my prayers. On one cool afternoon at an unsuspecting Cinco de Mayo party, I met Jim Swanson. As I was talking to this very friendly and really cool guy that I just met, I had no idea that God was weaving his perfect plan in my life. Towards the end of the evening, Jim introduced me to his beautiful daughter. I was too scared to speak. You were truly breathtaking. It seems nothing in life will prepare you for the moment when you meet your love, the love of your life for the very first time. As we started to spend time together as friends, I started to realize I wanted to know you on a deeper level. I asked if you wanted to date, and to my amazement, you said yes. Our relationship has been one that I've been so thankful to be a part of. But as you know, it didn't, doesn't stop there, because I asked you if you wanted to marry me. You were crazy enough to say yes again. <laughs> God is a God of answered prayers, and I asked, and what I asked for in a spouse, God has blessed tenfold. You are beautiful, kind, loving, caring, thoughtful, sweet, passionate, and strong. I'm so thankful for you in my life. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. My love for you has only grown and will continue to grow until I die. I'm truly proud to be your husband and to call you mine. As we commit ourselves to one another, I'd like to make these vows to you in the sight of God and everyone gathered here to witness. Havila, I promise to love you and only you. I promise to provide for you and for our family. I promise to lead you and our children in a manner that is pleasing to God and honoring to Him. I promise to protect you and our children from physical and spiritual harm. I promise to put your needs and the needs of our children above my own. I promise to love, cherish, and raise Micah as my own. I promise to present myself as a good example in the household, leading in humility, strength, wisdom, and godly integrity. I promise to uphold honesty to you and our family. I prom and I promise to never leave your side no matter what gets thrown in our way. These vows I make to you, my darling Havila, in the sight of our Creator and everyone gathered here today. When we first met, I felt an instant connection, a kindred spirit. I knew I wanted to be friends with you. We became close quickly and hung out often from the get-go. You knew we were meant to be before I did. And when you told me, and when I told you that I didn't want to ruin our friendship by dating, you told me that sometimes you end up marrying the person you didn't think you would. <laughs> About a year later, I realized these words were foreshadowing. God had a plan. We went through so much before we'd even begun dating, and it made me realize one important thing. You're the man I want to spend my life with. You're my best friend. Every day you show me Jesus. You've walked alongside me as I've navigated raising a toddler, and you've been there through my health journey, never making me feel any less worthy because of it. You've been my prayer warrior. You have seen and loved me in my ugliest moments. You've watched me try, fail, and rise again. You've shown an incredible amount of patience and kindness through it all. Ethan Samuel F. I vow to you to live first for God and then for you. I promise to strive every day to be selfless and unconditional in my love for you, to submit under your wise leadership and to be faithful in every moment. I will delight in raising our children alongside you, teaching them the joy of seeking after God and his ways. As I stand before you, a bride who is ready, I promise to you that I will be yours in times of plenty and in times of war, in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph. 
this I do promise, and by God's grace, I will.